Hello everyone, this is Revati for Cat Scrappiness. I am here to share a fun spooky Halloween project with you guys. I was planning on creating a simple card design without any fun surprise elements, but then later ended up creating an interactive card project. This would be a fun surprise this Halloween season. The links to all the supplies and the products that I'll be using for the project today will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. First, we'll take a look at the pattern paper and the dies that I'll be using today. The creepy cocky pattern paper pad and the creepy crawly die set, both by Cat Scrappiness. This paper pad has 6x6 six six double-sided sheets of some fun and spooky designs perfect for Halloween. They are made of premium quality cardstock. There are 12 patterns, 4 of each design. That will make creating your Halloween projects fun and easy. Take a look at these adorable designs. Well, I'll be using the spider web pattern paper for our card today. Off camera, I went ahead and cut out these spider webs and our little spiders using the creepy crawly dive set from Cat Scrappiness. I love the stitched detailing on both of these spider webs. I cut the pattern paper to 4 by 5 one quarter, which is slightly smaller than a normal A2 size card. I like to have a slight border all around my cards. Well, we can go ahead and arrange the spider webs on this pattern paper. You could use a single round web as the main focal point on your card front. Well, here I'll be using both the semicircle one on the upper left hand corner and the big round one on the right hand edge. I stuck both of these webs using my Barely Art glue. The fine precision tip on this glue bottle makes it so much more easier to get into those nooks and crannies. I will leave the webs hanging over the edges there for now. Uh, well, we can cut it later after the glue dries off completely. I really like these black webs on the pattern paper. Even though the pattern paper has lots of those little web designs, it's not overshadowing our die cut webs. Moreover, I would say it's also kind of contrasting with our background. Well, let's now work on our little spiders. When I die cut the spiders, uh, it also cut out little eyes of the spiders. To fill in the gaps, I'm using the scrap piece of yellow cardstock and cut out tiny pieces and glued it behind the face of our little spiders. It was at this point that I decided to turn this into an interactive card. Instead of gluing down the spiders on the web directly, I decided to hang it with the help of a string. I have this very thin silver string which I will be using to hang our spiders. I used a small piece of double sided tape on the back of my spider and attached the string onto it. To make sure that it is well connected, I sandwiched the thread between two spiders. Then, once it was done, I cut off the excess of the thread from the bottom of the spider. We can now pull the thread and stick it on the back of the pattern paper panel. I used a purple tape to temporarily hold my spider in place while I stuck the thread on the back of the panel. I did the same exact thing with the second spider. Here you'll see me using double sided tape to hold the string in place. And the purple tape holds my spider in place while I finish my cut. Once I'm completely satisfied with the position of both my spiders, I will firmly press down the double sided tape that I placed behind the panel. At this point, the spiders may be a little wobbly, but it will be safely secured once you add it on a note card. Well, at this point, I added some double sided tape on the back of my panel and cut off those spider webs that were hanging off the edges. The little scrap piece of the web, I decided not to throw it away. Instead, I used it on the lower left hand corner of this card panel. To finish off our panel, I cut the Happy Halloween sentiment using black cardstock and the shadow using white cardstock. Using liquid glue, I stuck the sentiment strip onto our card front. I love the entire black and white theme that is going on on our card front, except for those little yellow eyes on our spider. Well, it definitely gives 
a little pop of color that is very much required for our card. Well, um, if you want some dimension on your card, you could very well go with foam tape to mount your sentiment strip on the card front. Well, I wanted more of a flat layer card. That's why I am not using any foam tape or any extra dimension for our card today. Now that our front panel is ready, I can peel off the double sided tape and mount the panel onto a black top folding note card. This is an A2 size card panel. I also removed the temporary purple tape that was holding our spiders together just to make sure that everything is working fine. Well, looks like our tiny little spider was a little stuck there. It was probably some glue that got stuck. Well, now it's all good. To add some shine and sparkle to our card, I used the Spectrum Noir Glitter Brush Pen. I used it on my sentiment, the webs and the little spider. There's definitely a lot of shine and sparkle on this simple black and white Halloween themed card project. Once I was done with all that shine and sparkle, off camera I went ahead and added some black dots on the yellow eyeballs of our little spiders. I used black gel pen for that. Here's a closer look at the finished card. I paired it with a matching envelope. Well, I love how this card turned out and just look at those little spiders swinging around on our card front. Perfect for Halloween. I hope you had fun watching today's video and got inspired. I will leave a link to all the supplies I used in today's video in the description box below. Do check out the Cat Scrappiness website for more fun products. Here are a couple of other videos that you might be interested in watching. Until next time, stay safe.